welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Rival alongside head coach Darren Schoenrock. And coach, things continue to go well for the uh, baseball program with just three weeks left in the regular season. I know you probably don't want to make too big of a deal of it because you still have three weeks, but uh, it's kind of neat to see yourself uh, in the top 25 as the polls came out on, on Monday afternoon. Well, you know, I, you know, I, I think it's a reflection of how good the league is, first of all, and, and, and the team that's leading this league I always expect will be ranked or should be ranked. And, and even the top two or three, you know, I think we've got a number of teams in our league just, you know, going through over half the league schedule now that, that deserve top 25 thoughts because of records. And, and, and also what I see on the field, there's a very good product on the field in this conference. Well, you go back to last week and you got another big road win uh, down in Oxford, a 10-5 win over Ole Miss that gave you another top 50 win for the year, another win on the road against an SEC team. These are things that, uh, although the weekends are, are, are kind of paramount for you right now, those are little carrots you put on a resume that a selection committee could look at in four weeks. Yeah, you hope so. You know, and I think league record is going to be very important. Uh, I think, you know, obviously the things you do against the top 50, you know, the last 10 games, you know, are always important. There's a number of categories that are still way beyond us controlling. Uh, and and uh, I think our guys treat it as – you know that's that's actually we've won three in a row in Oxford yeah. now, and so it's not it's not a uh, a game that it's not a situation where this team circles big games now. They just kind of circle, hey, what time's the game today? And I like that, and I think that's what it's going to take down the stretch. You have that little streak going on in Oxford. That's the first time though you've got, gone down there, gotten that that lead early, and gotten a pretty good lead early. You had Alex Gunn pitching well. It's the first time you've gone down there and be able to kind of take the crowd out of it and get them back on their heels. Yeah, and it was it was the first time we've played down there late in the year. Mm -hmm. Normally that game was an early in the season game, and you're dealing with weather. And and that game, you know, we had a nice crowd and good good environment, and and uh, they they support and do a great job marketing you know, the program and, and the student involvement and, of course, the facility that they've, that they've you know, the $14 million renovation yeah. really dressed that place up where it's a great place to play. Coach, you go up to Connecticut over the weekend. You win two out of three in other conference series where uh, they get game one, but you come back again get games two and three. Things look good on Friday night early on, or Friday afternoon. Zach Schreinthal got his first career home run, then Caleb sits him down one, two, three. Then they get a, get a couple of runs in the second. A couple of innings later, they get a two-run home run. And they they kind of built the momentum as their pitcher kind of kept us off pace. Yeah, he, he was, you know, he commanded parts of the zone that are tough to hit repetitively. And a lot of times, you know, guys will will attempt to pitch to hitters' weaknesses, but they'll mislocate. And when they when you make mistakes, you got you do. He didn't make any mistakes. And, uh, it, you know, I thought Caleb was, was very good, uh, good stuff, quality stuff. Uh, he's drawn a lot of very difficult starts yeah. on Friday, so his numbers don't really reflect uh, the importance he's played in us winning series because he's pitched well enough to to keep us in games and keep the bullpen out of the equation early. But uh, but that's a that's a very good team. You know, I think we saw firsthand what Friday night baseball in this league is like. You make one little mistake and you're going to lose, and that's what happened. The next two games pretty indicative of what the league is like. You get a four three win. Dylan Toscano evens the series for you again. Then. A 15-inning marathon where you get a two-run homer from Kane Barrow in the 15th on Sunday afternoon. That's more like how the league has been this year. Yeah, there's there's good lineups. You know, you're getting to see, you know, calling these games, you're getting to see hitters really one through nine that, that are tough outs. And, and uh, I thought UConn's lineup was as uh, – they had as many tough outs one through nine as anybody we've played all year. Uh, and, and you had to make pitches throughout the lineup. You couldn't relax in any part of, part of the lineup. And – and that showed, you know, that, that when two pitchers are on their game in college baseball, like like uh, their starter was and Connor was, that, that you can chew up nine innings in a hurry, put it in the hands of the bullpen, and I think Nolan just kind of outlasted mm -hmm. their guy. We got, you know, their two bullpen guys were more max effort type guys. We got we got them a little tired, that you know, and, and it was just kind of a survival of the fittest is what it was. Coach, uh, you'll come back home now, a little bit of a home stand before you have exam week and no midweek games. You'll play Mississippi Valley Wednesday. That'll be an afternoon game, trying to still make up a few games uh, from early in the year, and this is one that will kind of help make up. Yeah, you know, you want to play our games, Jeff, because you, you're still trying to – I still want to see some different guys get at bats. So I still want to see some different guys get work on the mound. And, and so you when you lose games to weather early in the year, you work and fight like crazy to try to find ways to get them all in because you want those innings for – evaluation 
Uh, and you also now want them for trying to get greedy and get right. as many wins as you can without, hopefully, without damaging the mm-hmm. RPI. So I, you know, it's uh, it, midweek games this time of year. Some you're either really in favor of them or you're really <laughs> dead set against them. And I, I'm still in favor of them because I like to play. I like to play games in good weather, and I like to. Uh, I'd rather play than practice. Once you get your team ready, this sport is really meant to to play, and and uh, that's what we've elected to do down the stretch. Two midweek games this week. None next week for finals, and we go back to two the following week. Mm-hmm. So we still got some midweek challenges, and and uh, with with sights set on doing great on the weekends. Coach, you got Cincinnati coming back uh, to Memphis this weekend. Your second time you played them this year. It's your home and home opponent this season. Uh, it's the only team to beat you in the conference series this year. They got a 12 inning win on Sunday up there, and so this is uh, comes in almost like pro baseball. Now you're going to play this team so much that you guys really it comes down to execution. You know the tendencies of both teams. Yeah, teams, we're going to know each other well by the time this series is over with. And, uh, you know, they match up with us pretty good, Jeff. They, they it pro- That kind of proved <clears throat> up there. Uh, they, they've got a couple of pitchers that are going to give us a hard time. We've got to, we've got to change our game plan a little bit for them. Uh, and they've got, you know, one of the best hitters in college baseball that, that is kind of in a position now where he's making some guys around him a little bit better. Mm-hmm. He's got a, got a freshman hitting behind him that's, that's very dangerous, that's, that's feeding off of how many times he gets pitched around. Uh, challenging from the standpoint of this is uncharted waters for our guys. They've never gone into a conference series with, with a national ranking hanging next to them. I don't think it'll affect this team. I'm going to try and the coaching staff will try not to let it affect who we are and who we've been this year and and, uh, and go get after a team, that the only conference team that's beat us in a series. And that'll be the motivation. Coach, going to be a big weekend as well. Uh, softball series, track and fields having an event, your series, and most importantly, it looks like finally the weather's going to break. Yeah. It's supposed to be in the 70s, may hit 80 on sunny uh, Sunday. Going to be sunny all weekend. Uh, this weekend uh, is the weekend you, you, you retire Jersey. It's going to be Coach Hopkins, uh, TSF, having one of their events this weekend. So should be very busy on the Park Avenue campus. Very busy. Great for Tiger fans to come out and wear your blue and go watch three events. You know, watch the, the track meet, the, uh, the softball game, and come over to FedEx Park and watch the Tigers. And we're very excited about doing this for Jeff Hopkins. The only guy that I think in the history of the program that was here as a player and as an assistant coach and as a head coach. And that's pretty neat uh, that he's he's filled in every capacity uh, in the Tiger uniform. And, and uh, we're going to honor him. I think he is the last – head coach to take a team to a regional in fact and and uh, so that'll be you know we'll talk about that a lot with him but uh, a lot of we've invited all the Tiger fans back um, you know a lot of a lot of a lot of traffic around South Campus our guys will love it this weekend. You, you mentioned Coach Hopkins and that regional in 94 you went in 07 but it's been since Hopkins 94 team since we've been in a top we've been in the top 40 the top 30 a couple times since you've been here but it's first time since coach Hopkins we've been in the top 25. Yeah I've heard you know there's still some guys on that 94 team that that I talk with on a regular basis around and they have commented about this year's club and how proud they are and and it's good to hear from those guys and and uh, hopefully some of those guys will have a chance to make it back this weekend when we honor coach Hop. Coach, sounds good. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jeff. Head coach Darren Schoenrock. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.